inducted tonight into the St. Joseph's Athletics Hall of Fame. Thank you. And here's Morgan. Uh, thank you, Morgan. Uh, that's kind of neat. Uh, I'm kind of hoping maybe someday to be up here and, uh, and induct you, which would be kind of cool. So thank you very much. Okay. Uh, I'd like to congratulate uh, all of the inductees this evening, uh, Lynn, uh, the Doyle family, uh, Steve, uh, Joey, and uh, of course, Billy. Okay. Um, you're part of a very special, extremely talented class, and you're all very deserving of this honor. So my pleasure this evening to be part of uh, Billy's uh, induction. Uh, I'm really happy for Billy. Uh, I think any time that you can receive this honor and have your family uh, and friends with you, I think obviously that's very special. Uh, Donna, I think it's great that you're here this evening. Uh, those of you that got a chance to, uh, to go to our games back uh, when Billy played, uh, you know, Donna was clearly uh, Billy's best uh, and greatest fan. So uh, <laughs> it's great that you're here. I also think it's kind of neat, um, you know, having had the pleasure of, of being inducted myself, that um, to have your children share this, uh, this with you, okay, to be of an age where they're old enough to appreciate that and, um, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, really uh, recognize what a truly uh, great honor this is. So, uh, Lexi and uh, Nick, when mom, you know, tells you something, makes a comment about basketball, she, she's speaking from experience. She knows what she's talking about. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, as Billy's head coach for three years, I got to see firsthand uh, what a tremendous post player she was and how she dominated play uh, during her time here at St. Joe's. Uh, during her four-year career, uh, Billy helped lead uh, her team to so an overall record of 92 and 27. That's a winning percentage of over 77 uh, percent. And... Um, led her teams to three trips to the NAIA National Tournament. Um, it's usually at this time that as a coach I would share with you, um, you know, a great recruiting story, you know, how I spun my magic and, uh, you know, <laughs> the only reason that Billy was here because I, you know, swept her off her feet, uh, you know, as a basketball coach, but uh, <laughs> I can't do that in this case. Um, actually, uh, my first year of coaching here at St. Joe's uh, was Billy's sophomore year, so I was lucky enough to uh, of an inherited uh, player of Billy's, uh, you know, ability uh, from my first year. Needless to say, that uh, you know was a great, uh, a great thing for me as a first year coach. Um, as it been previously mentioned, Billy, um, you know, was a very good post player for us. In fact, she's probably one of the best to ever play that position. Um, and I can honestly share with you that if, if Billy were um, a high school senior today. Uh, I wouldn't have the luxury of being able to induct her into our Hall of Fame uh, because she would have easily and clearly had the ability to be a, a scholarship player. Um, I think we were very fortunate, uh, not only with Billy, but a number of the players that we got here, uh, but easily today um, she'd have been going to the NE10 or even probably a Division I school. Uh, Billy was great at posting up, uh, using her body, uh, dominating space in the post, but she had a little bit of an unfair advantage, okay? Um, I, 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 you know, of course, it's been a while, Billy, since uh, I got a chance to coach you, but uh, I forget if it was during your junior or senior year, but uh, actually Billy developed a, a very painful uh, injury. It had a fracture. This is true. I'm not joking. She had a fracture uh, in her lower back. So to be able to play, uh, she was fitted for a, a hard, like that, hard plastic um, brace, okay? which totally encompassed her entire back and Velcro probably, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, the front. So like a plastic girdle that, that seriously was as hard as this, uh, this podium. And you can imagine someone that's really good at using their body and uh, posting up hard and then to have this hard plastic uh, brace, we'll call it, I don't want to call it a girl. Um, so she could back into her opponent and, and invariably, you know, if we played 27 games that year, we would start the game, we would go a couple of times down the floor and they'd stop the game. Because the opponents would complain that, come on, this, this has got to be illegal. So the officials would check the brace and, you know, said, no, it's, it's fine. So, uh, so Billy, yes, you were a great post player, but I, I really think that brace helped you a lot, too. So, uh, yeah. Oh, well, geez. Do you know how old I am? I know. <laughs> okay. um, if you take a look at the women's record book, uh, you'll find Billy's name listed in there many times. Uh, her 1,195 points rank her 11th overall on the all-time scoring list. She's eighth overall in rebounding with uh, 671. 
Uh, Billy's career free throw percentage uh, for her career was just under 77%, uh, which is eighth best in, the, in school history. You can imagine a talented post player who's great at creating space and uh, creating contact and drawing fouls and be able to make free throws at that kind of percentage is a, is a huge, uh, huge uh, advantage. She also holds two other records which, again, speak to her abilities. She is the single season and career uh, field goal percentage leader um, all time. And that, you know, is just, just incredible. Okay? Um, without, a, without a doubt, Billy, you uh, were one of the most talented post players to ever don a, a St. Joseph's College uniform. Uh, please join me in recognizing her outstanding career here at St. Joe's and welcoming her as our newest member of the Hall of Fame. A lot of pressure going first. <laughs> I asked Coach if it was because I was the oldest one being nominated. He dodged that question. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for coming. This is a big event. Um, I would like to take the time to thank the St. Joe's College Hall of Fame Committee for inducting um, me into the Sports Hall of Fame. I'd also like to congratulate all the other inductees. It's quite a big honor. I'm truly humbled, honored, and blessed to be in this year's class. It's an incredible accomplishment that I will always cherish with great pride. Uh, being part of the St. Joe's women's basketball program had a significant impact on my life's journey. It has helped me shape me into the person I am today. I will always cherish the memories that were made here. Uh, I was lucky enough to play with some of the best. Uh, Karen Sandora, Carolyn Brooks, Kendra Coates, ML Kimball, Chrissy Vance, Terry McCarthy, Karen Rogers, among many, many others. In the spring of 1986, you may not even remember, but I was a confused 18-year-old girl who only knew that I wanted to go to college, didn't have any idea what I wanted to major in, and I wanted to play basketball. Um, I was lucky enough to run into Coach Simon at an all-star game, and he was so excited that I hadn't decided where I wanted to go play yet, and he used his little persuasive ways, <laughs> that any of you who know Coach Simon knows he has, uh, to come and look at St. Joe's. On my way, to my visit, I passed pastures of cows. I was from South Portland. Cows? I was like, where am I going and what am I doing? Like, why am I coming here? Uh, little did I know it would be one of the de best decisions that I would ever make. It's impossible to, for me to thank all the people that made it possible for me to be here tonight, but I would like to take the time to thank some of those people. First, I'd like to thank my parents. Donna, and my father, Archie. I would not be here today without their unconditional love, support, and encouragement. I don't think I can ever remember a game or a tournament where they weren't in the stands. And as Coach kind of referred to, my mom's woo 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 <laughs> are famous. And now, my children get to experience that because she comes to theirs. <laughs> to my other family members, my brother, John, and my sister, Laura, I'd like you I'd like to thank you for your ongoing love and support and your encouragement. I'd like to thank my husband, Steve, and my kids, Lexi and Nicholas, uh, for letting me continue in the love um, of basketball. So coach, I am officiating now. <laughs> so there may come a day where you get to yell at me again. <laughs> but I might get a little payback. Tee him up. <laughs> to my college coach, Coach McDevitt, I would like to thank you for having tremendous influence and impact on my life. I would like to thank you for constantly pushing me as a player and as a person, uh, for teaching me that it was okay to be upset, but it was, it was what you did with that emotion that was important. Thank you for always leading me, leading by example, giving me advice that has stayed with me long after I hung up that jersey. Thank you for encouraging me to get into education and to coaching. But looking back, I don't know if you remember, I had a fifth year of eligibility, or a fourth year, I guess, technically. I'm not sure if there was an ulterior motive of kind of pushing me in that, that direction <laughs> of going, you know, taking those education classes. So I had to. <laughs> 
Thank you for always greeting me with open arms and addressing me as Wilhelmina. <laughs> thank you for reminding me that you will always be my coach. You're always here if I need you. And no, I may never call you Elsie. <laughs> thank you to all the faculty and staff, fans, and alumni who supported the athletic programs here at St. Joe's. It's a truly a special, special place with special, special people. Thank you.